Let us start our learning with the definition of globalization. Globalization is the rapid integration or interconnection between countries, mostly on the economic plane. In other words, globalization means integrating a country's economy with the world economy. People think that the globalization is the late 20th century phenomena. And it is true because many changes in the technology have taken place in the last 30 to 40 years. The migration of foreign trade and investment is done mostly in the 19th century. Although the movement of capital and goods is much more than labor movement, almost 50 million people have migrated from Europe to Australia and America. Almost 150 million people all over the world have migrated from their places. Lakhs of Indians have left for working in plantations, mines and railway constructions, etc. The main destination for the people of India to migrate are Caribbean islands, Mauritius, Fiji, Malaya, Ceylon, etc. These migrants were given only few legal rights. Huge movement of labor like this was never seen again. These days, the demand for migration is only with professional people. Let us know the facts of globalization mainly in South Asian countries. Closeness to a large number of buyers in India and China. India and China together comprise about 30% of the world population and thus they provide a huge market for various companies. Making a production base in India provides easy access to these two markets. Let us study the international economic exchanges. The three types of movement within international economic exchanges are the first is the flow of trade in goods as well as services. The second is the flow of labor, migration of people in search of employment. The third is the movement of capital for short-term or long-term investments over long distances. Cultural and political dimensions of globalization also exist. In the year 2013, many countries of Western Asia and Northern Africa like Tunisia, Egypt got influenced by each other's revolutions. In these countries, media played a major role and hence was called Arab Spring in the media. The foreign-owned television channels supported such mobilization which thereby regulated the power of local leaders. The civil wars and natural disasters like tsunami, which are the national issues, received support and sympathy from around the world. 